Hello folks, today I'm going to be taking a look at a collaboration between Wargames Atlantic and Dreamforge Games with Mark Mondragon's Eisenkern Stormtroopers. Okay, so checking out uh, the Eisenkern Stormtroopers, which is Wargames Atlantic have teamed up with uh, Mark Mondragon, who uh, has Dreamforge Games. Dreamforge Games, rather. Um, So, on the back, you can see a bit of text about the Eisenkorn. So it had a fairly developed empire. We also have some pictures of some of the miniatures. So this box lets you build 20 Eisenkorn uh, with variant parts. So, inside the box, you get four of these sprues. Now, we have a lot going on. Um, let's start with first things first. These are retooled, so they had originally come out years ago from Dreamforge. Um, and they were slightly larger. I have compared them to some of my own, and it was only very slightly larger. The reason there's been a size drop is Firstly, they had to retool them because they didn't have the original tooling. And secondly, they now scale to the other sci-fi troopers that War Games Atlantic um, produce. So if you want to put weapons or heads or swap bits about or kit bash, that's all doable. So starting at the top, we have two large support weapons. Uh, we also have a combat shotgun, some pouches, pistols... We have a submachine gun with an underslung grenade launcher. We have some standard rifles with these um, drum mags. These are torsos and backpacks. Five of each. You don't have to put the backpacks on, but I like them. We have our arms, legs, of which um, you get two sets additionally. I want to say one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so there's there's a two spare, um, this sort of standing, and then this kneeling, and beyond that, the rest of them are more active poses. Uh, towards the bottom of the sprue, we have our shoulder pads, heads. These two heads take these sort of night sight visors and a few bare heads, more rifles, and combat shotguns. Now, build-wise, there are no assembly instructions, but everything is keyed on the sprue, which is very nice. So if I look at a pair of arms here, we have R1, R3, because the weapons then will be marked. Um, so here we have, that's an S, that's a H, that's an R. So this would fit with that pair of arms or uh, these rifles. And I think they, yeah, this large gun here as well. So that is something to be aware of. You do need to match the relevant arms to the weapon, but that allows you to pose it and also to have the stocks will sit with the positioning of the arms where you're not having to trim down or cut off parts of a model to get it to actually fit. Um, apart from that, it's all very straightforward. So while there is a lot on the sprue, you can choose, uh, obviously everybody can have rifles. Three can have submachine guns, three can have combat shotguns, two can have support, but otherwise the builds are up to you. Uh, and once you start playing around with it, you'll know what sort of way pairs of arms sit. Some are at the ready, some are more sort of um, guard poses, I will say, where they're not actually active. I do really like the forage caps and the officer's hat. So, let's take a look at some built ones. 
Okay, so here we have the officer. Builds for these were mostly fine. Uh, I think I fluffed one of the arms on a support weapon because I put the body on first and then glued the arms on without knowing exactly how they were going to hold the gun. Uh, but as you can see, it's straightforward. Good level of detail. Um, they do have sort of gorgets around their central of their torso. So they've lost a little bit of detail in the reduction, but they're still noticeably what they are. A gorget with a, an eagle on it. So I thought my officer would have the SMG. I have an NCO. with forage cap, holstered pistol, and then uh, some form of range finding binoculars. I really do like the look of these models. And I'm hoping that uh, this is successful and that the range is able to be resurrected, so to speak, because there was a lot more to come that we never really got to see. And not just the, the Valkyries and the uh, Assault Troopers. We never got to see the aliens, really. Combat shotgun. With the standard helm. If you do choose to leave the backpacks off, there is nice detail on them anyway. And then I made two of the support weapons. So, so this kneeling fellow is the second. There you can see the uh, sort of rangefinder night vision goggles. Very spec ops. Could be a, a machine gun or could be just some sort of Barrett-like rifle. The choice is yours. And finally, the same version standing, but like I say, I wasn't paying attention to where the arms were going to go. So I've got a slight hovering butt there, but that's entirely on me, not checking the positioning before I started adding glue. A fantastic set of uh, armoured elite space troopers, so very good for any sci-fi game. I can imagine a lot of people may want to use these as some form of uh, elite imperial guard. So replacing your Kasserkin stormtrooper types with these for 40k. Or things like Stargrave and eventually Deathfields when it comes out as well. So there we have it, the Eisenkern stormtroopers. A fantastic set from uh, War Games Atlantic and Mark Mondragon. There we have it, Iron Core back on the tabletop. Uh, absolutely love this. I do have a small amount of the originals myself, uh, but I was never able to get a particularly good stock of them because they were quite tricky to get this out of the Atlantic. Because War Games Atlantic have three shipping areas, uh, it means people who want these should be able to get them. People who've never seen them before, I imagine will be jumping on these because they are a beautiful look with that hard sci-fi uh, mixed with German. So hopefully we will see more uh, if this is successful. We never really got to see the aliens. There were multiple box sets for the Eisenkern, uh, but we, we were sadly lacking their enemies. So I think the plan is to slowly get these retooled and back out into the wild. Uh, but let me know what you think of the Eisenkern below. Uh, if you'll be picking them up yourself and what you'll be using them for. Until next time, bye bye. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.